That's a bummer. For a coin like that, I wonder if it was a hunter. It's a jerk coin. Hello everybody, welcome back to Ray's World. I hope you are doing well. I hope you are having a great day. It is time for another nickel hunt. Let's see what's cooking on TV. The last couple of boxes have been fantastic. Let's see if this is just as fantastic. What do we got here? It's just a 64, something that's been underground. Yep, another 64. Where's the bucket? Gotta have a bucket to put all of that in. Let's take a look together real quick and see if there's anything in this roll. All right, well, nothing in the first roll. Let's just keep going and see what we can find. Oh my gosh, we got our first find. We finally got our first find. It's a 1992 Canadian. Wow, that took a while. Nineteen forty-six. Oh, it's a thread. <laughs> it's just a piece of string. Hey, a pair of nineteen forty-sixes. There was another one staring at me in the face. Hey, another Canadian. 2,000. 2,000. We've officially found more Canadians than we have U.S. finds. <laughs> Nineteen forty, nineteen forty. All right, we are getting somewhere now. Forty seven, nineteen forty seven, Philadelphia. That's not so bad. It's picking up a little bit. And another Canadian, beautiful Canadian. Oh, it's a 2002. I'm like, where's the year? Where's the year on my Canadian? It's because it's a 2002. It's in beautiful shape. And another one, 19. 94. 1994 Canadian. That is five Canadians so far. Holy smokes. Thirty nine. Nineteen thirty nine Philadelphia. It's not in the best of shape. I see a nineteen forty one right next to it. Let's get our loop out. I really need a coin scope, not a double die, and somebody has really scratched it up. They put a giant X on it. That's a bummer. For a coin like that, I wonder if it was a hunter. It's a jerk coin. Somebody being a jerk, putting lines on it, trying to make their coins a little more valuable. That's a jerk move. Forty six Philadelphia, a 1946 Philadelphia right there. It's pretty slick, but very cool. We will take it for sure. Is that another proof? 
By golly, it is. That's three boxes in a row. It's a 1987 S. Ugh. We're going to soak this one in water. See if we can clean it up. 1987 S proof. And another Canadian, look at that, a 1981. Now that one is all nickel. It's gonna be magnetic and it is going to be 99% nickel. 1981 Canadian, very cool. And another Canadian, 2008. 2008 Canadian. This is the Box O Canadian. Another one. Look at that right there. 2007. 2007 in the Box O Canadian. All right. Well, that is it. That is it. No more rolls. No more fines. Let's take this proof and soak it for a little bit. See if we can get some of this crud off it. And then we will come back for a recap. All right, well, here is everything that we got. We got a 1939 jerk coin because somebody scratched a giant X into this coin. But that's all right. We'll take it anyway. Check this out. I have no idea even what year this is. But look at this poor coin. It has got some really awesome corrosion and damage going on. We're going to throw that in our damaged coins bin we got a 1942 of the 1941s five 1946s a 1947 and check this out we got eight canadians a 1981 an 89 1992 a 1994 a 2000 2002 which actually has the date on the other side 2007 and a 2008 and check this out i left this in just some water with a little bit of Dawn dish soap. And it came out beautiful. 1987. No scrubbing. It's got a little bit of gunk still on it. No other solvent. Just water mixed with a little bit of Dawn dish soap. That might be that residue right there. But that's okay. I don't mind having a little bit on there. It is a proof. 1987. San Francisco proof. How awesome is that? Very, very cool to have these finds. It started out as a really slow box and it turned out really, really awesome. Take care, everybody. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see y'all real soon. Bye.